Hey guys, welcome back. As there were lots of rumors that OnePlus will be rolling out Android Q along with the Pixel devices. So yesterday Pixel devices received the Android Q. Along with that, OnePlus also rolled out its first open beta Android Q for OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro. And soon it will be followed by OnePlus 6 and 60. As I was already running Android Q developer preview 5th build on my OnePlus 7 Pro, OnePlus says people who were running Android Q developer preview 4 or 5, they'll receive an OTA update by today evening. But if you guys want to upgrade your OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro to Android Q Open Beta 1, then you can follow the video guide. So as I'm already running Android Q, which is Android 10 developer preview 5th build, to install that what you have to do is, first of all make sure to take a complete backup of your device and also make sure that your device is charged more than 30%. After that you just need to download the file given in the description below, place it inside the internal storage. So this is the file of open beta 1 based on android Q. Once you are done with that, you just go to settings, system, system update, tap on the gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and you can choose the file. A warning message will pop up which says system update will not affect your data. But for safety purpose, do take a backup of your device. Later just tap on install now. It is always recommended to do a factory reset if you are coming from Android 9 to Android 10. Once the installation process is completed, just hit reboot. Device have been successfully booted up. First of all, let me show you the software information. And here you can see Android version is 10, which is Android Q. Security patch is 5th September 2019. So we have the latest security patch. Build number is Oxygen OS Open Beta 1. And after the upgrade from Android Q Developer Preview 5th build, there is no effect on the data. Everything remains same, including my internal storage. In this video, we'll be covering all the change logs, what they have updated on their official forum, that is OnePlus forum. First of all, let me show you the launcher version. Launcher version remains the same, which was on DP5, that is 4.0. And we have all the similar change logs, which is Android Q full screen gestures have been added. Support full screen gestures in the landscape mode. These things I've already shown on DP5 video. But here the camera version has been updated and now the camera version is 3.8.52. Where we still have missing feature of live tracking focus, which is also not included with this latest build of Android Q. Video mode now supports wide angle and 3x zoom video recording. OnePlus also added super steady mode for video recording, which is limited to 1080p. And here are few photo samples after updating to Android Q Open Beta 1. Now talking about the change logs, so these are the change logs which are related to system, full screen gestures, game space, smart display and messaging app. So let's cover them one by one. First one they say upgraded to Android 10 which I've already shown you. So inside the settings now, about phone, Android version is Android 10 which is Android Q. After that they say brand new UI design. But you won't notice much of changes comparing to Android Pie but yes slight changes have been done to the UI section. This will be a quick setting panel where you have all the other modes like Zen mode, screen recorder, your app drawer and this will be your settings menu where you have different sections for connectivity, customizations, system related, privacy and location, battery and storage, accounts related information and there's another section for utilities, system and about phone. After that they have done few enhancement location permission for privacy. Now we have a complete new customization feature inside the settings so let's go to settings and here you can see you have an option to customize your device wherein you can change the themes. You have pre-installed three themes available. We get option to change the clock style, fingerprint animation and horizon lights. After that system customization consists of essence color change. You can also change the tone. And then we have few options to change the quick setting tile shape and icon pack. If you also want to change the fonts, you can change it from here. But there are no new fonts added. We have the same Roboto and OnePlus Slate. So this is a new customization option added under settings. After that moving on to the next change log which is related to full screen gestures which says added inward swipe from left or the right edge of the screen to go back. After that they have also added in bottom navigation bar to allow switching left or right from the recents app. So this is the bottom navigation bar which allows you to switch between the recents app 
by swiping left or right. And the navigation gestures can be found inside settings, buttons and gestures, navigation bar and gestures. So here we have the gestures available, which are pretty much similar to pixel devices, but it more looks like MIUI OS. So you have option to swipe from left, swipe from right to go back to the previous screen. Then the next change log is related to game space, which says new game space feature now joins all your favorite games in one place for easier access and better gaming experience. So here they have added a new application called game space and because of this they have removed the gaming mode from the utility section. So now you have all your games in one application from where you can also access other features like fanatic mode. Then the next change log is related to smart display which says supported intelligent info based on your specific time location event or ambient display. So this can also be found inside the settings under display and here you have the option of ambient display. You can find an option called smart display which says intelligent info based on your specific time location and event. Still always on display is missing on Android Q. And the last change log is related to messaging app which says now possible to block spam by keyword for messaging that can be found inside messaging spam settings and block settings so that can be found inside the messaging app tap on these three dots settings here you have the blocking settings so here you can add the keywords and if those keywords appears in the specific message that message will be automatically blocked so these are the complete change logs of Android Q Open Beta 1 and I'll also make an in-depth video covering all the features of Android Q on OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro. Now let's also take a look at the benchmark results using Geekbench application and N22 Bench application. So with Geekbench application single core have scored 3596, multi core have scored 11453. And with developer preview 5th build, single core had scored 3588, wherein multi core has scored 11400, slightly higher scores. With n 2 benchmark application, on open beta device has scored 3,78,258, but on DP5 device had scored 3,75,742. Again, higher benchmark results with open beta Android Q. So guys, this was a quick look on Android Q Open Beta 1 for OnePlus 7 and 7 Pro. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. And if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.